Hi, this is Nathmada, Assistant Professor, Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science. Now we are going to see about Introduction to Python Programming Unit 2. So in the Unit 2, we are going to see about the introduction of Python. It was created by Guido van Rosen during 1985 to 1990. Python got its name by Monty Python's Flying Circus. Python was released in the year 2000. Python is interpreter and Python is interactive. Python is object oriented and Python is a beginner's language. It is easy to learn and easy to maintain. It is portable, interpreter and extensible. It is free and open source and high level language. So next is a Python interpreter and compiler. Interpreter is nothing but to execute a program in a high level language by translating it one line at a time. Compiler to translate a program written in high level language into a low level language at all once in preparation for later execution. The next is a mode of Python interpreter. Python interpreter is a program that reads and executes Python code. It uses two modes of execution, interactive mode and script mode. Interactive mode is nothing but it allows us to interact with OS. Uh, whereas in the advantages means uh, in interactive mode it is good enough to learn, experiment or explore. The drawbacks we can see that is statements and have to retype all the statements once again to run them. So this is the drawback. In the script mode, uh, uh, we type Python program in a file and then use interpreter to execute the content of the file. Scripts can be saved to disk for future use. So Python scripts have the extension .py meaning that the file name ends with .py. Save the code with file name .py and run the interpreter in the script mode to execute the script. Then next the values and data types. Values, a value can be any letter, number or string. For example, 2, 4.2, hello or world. Data type, every value in Python has a data type. It is a set of values and, and the allowable operation on those values. The numbers, number data type stores numerical values. This data type is immutable. Sequence, a sequence is an ordered collection of items indexed by positive integers and it is the combination of mutable uh, and immutable data types. So there are three types of sequence data types available in Python. They are strings, lists and tuples. So string in Python consists of series or sequence of characters, letters, numbers and special characters. Strings are marked by quotes, single quotes, double quotes and triple quotes. Individual character in a string is accessed using a subscript. Characters can be accessed using indexing and slicing operators. Strings are immutable that is the contents of the string cannot be changed after it is created. Then. List is an ordered sequence of items. Values in the list are called elements or items. It can be written as a list of comma separated items. Items in the list can be of different data types. Operations on list are indexing, slicing, concatenation, repetitions, updation, insertion and deletion. Then a tuple is the same as list except that the set of elements is enclosed in parentheses instead of square brackets. A tuple is an immutable list that is once a tuple has been created you can't add elements to a tuple or remove elements from the tuple. So the benefits of tuples are tuples are faster than list. If the user wants to protect the data from accidental changes tuple can be used. Tuples can be used as keys in dictionaries while lists cannot. The next is the dictionaries. List are ordered set of objects whereas dictionaries are unordered sets. Dictionary is created by using curly brackets. Dictionaries are accessed via keys and not via their position. A dictionary is an associative array known as hashes. Any key of the dictionary is associated uh, to a value. The values of dictionary can be any Python data type. So dictionaries are unordered key value pairs. The next is the variable. A variable allows us to store a value by assigning it to a name which can be used later. Named memory locations to store values. Programmers generally choose names for their var variables that are meaningful. It can be of any length, no spaces allowed. We don't need to declare a variable before using it. In Python, we simply assign a value to a variable and it will exist. Next is the keyword identifiers. Keywords are the reserved words in Python. We cannot use a keyword as a variable name, function name or any other identifier. They are used to define the syntax and the structure of the Python language. Keywords are case sensitive. Identifiers is the name given to entities like 
class, functions, variables, etc. in Python. Identifiers can be a combination of letters in lowercase or uppercase or digits or an underscore. All are valid examples. An identifier cannot start with a digit. Keywords cannot be used as identifiers. Cannot use special symbols like exclamatory, at symbol, hash, dollar, percentage, etc. Identifier can be of any length. The next is the statements and expressions, input and output. Statements is nothing but the instructions that a Python interpreter can execute or call statement. A statement is a unit of code like creating a variable or displaying a variable. Expressions. An expression is a combination of values, variables and operators. A value all by itself is considered an expression and also a variable. Then input is nothing but input is the data entered by the user in the program. Uh, input for input or function is available for input. Output the output can be displayed to the user using print statement. The next is the comments and doc string. A hash sign is the beginning of a comment. Anything written after hash is a line is ignored by interpreter. Python does not have multiple line commenting features. Then doc string. Doc string is short for documentation string. It is a string that occurs as the first statement in a module, function, class or method definition. We must write what a function or a class does in the doc string. Triple quotes are used while writing doc strings. The next is the tuple assignment. An assignment to all, the all of the elements in a tuple using a single assignment statement. Python has a very powerful tool assignment feature that allows a tuple of variables on the left of an assignment to be assigned values from the right of the assignment. The left side of, of is a tuple of variables, the right side is a tuple of values. Each value is assigned to its respective variable. All the expressions on the right side are evaluated before any of the assignments. This feature makes tuple assignment quite versatile. Naturally, the number of variables on the left and number of values on the right have to be same. The next is the operators. Operators are the constructors which can manipulate the value of operands. Consider the expressions of 4 plus 5 equal to 9. Here, 4 and 5 are called operands and the plus is called operator. There are types of operators, arithmetic operators, comparison operators, assignment operators, logical operators, bitwise operators, membership operators, identity operators. The next is the functions. Function is a subprogram which consists of set of instructions use it to perform a specific task. A large program is divided into basic building blocks called function. Functions can be classified into two categories, user defined function and built in function. The function definition, DEF key, keyword is used to define a function. Give the function name after DEF keyword followed by parenthesis in which arguments are given. End with colon symbol. Inside the function, add the program statements to be executed. End with or without return statement. The next is the function prototypes, parameters and non-arguments. Function without arguments and without return type. Function with arguments and without return type. Function without arguments and with return type. Function with arguments and with return type. These are the pro function prototypes. The parameters are nothing but are the values provided inside the parenthesis when we write function header. Then arguments are the value provided in the function call or invoke statement. The next is the argument types and modules. Uh, required arguments, keyword arguments, default arguments and variable length arguments are the types of arguments. The module is nothing but is a file containing python definitions, functions, statements and instruction. We have standard library of python is extended as modules. Thank you.